Hey guys, so you've been sweep picking for a while now and you've been working through my video series How to Sweep Pick and you've been working on your five string sweeps but you've noticed that there's still a bit of sloppiness in there that you can't explain and you can't get your five string sweeps up past a certain speed even though you feel like you should be able to well, I almost guarantee you this is a problem to do with timing you see, note transitions of arpeggios they're not created equal, they're actually of varying difficulties. For instance, a pull-off from your pinky to your index finger. That is a, it has a different difficulty to it. Different difficulty to it. It's a different maneuver than an upstroke to an upstroke, uh, from an upstroke from your index finger to your second finger. That's a different maneuver. Just like a a down sweep from your index, uh, from your pinky finger to your third finger. That's a different maneuver as well. So they all have these different varying levels of difficulty and timing issues within each transition. And yet, as sweepers, we're supposed to chain these together effortlessly and with perfect timing. So, how do we do this? How do we fix this timing issue? Well, we use something that I'm going to call from this moment on. I'm going to call it starting point cycling. Now we're all guilty of this, I did it as well. When you start practicing your sweeps, we always start on the first note, don't we? So with the index finger, lowest note on the A string. We always do that. And the trouble with that is that when you're playing that to a, a clicker, you know, a beat, a metronome, Certain notes always land on the click, and other notes always land to either side of the click, you know, assuming we're using triplets, for example. Um, and that makes us become complacent, and we... Any timing issues that we may have become invisible, because we just get used to always starting on this one note here. So here's what I want you to do. Simply try looping the arpeggio starting from a different note, so the second note. Let's try that out. So you wouldn't start here. It wouldn't be like this. Click, so click, 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 click. You'd start from the second note. It'd be like this. Click, 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 click. So, and you'd loop, you'd go through like that. So it'd be like this. That'll be your starting note and your ending note. And now different notes are landing on, on the click and different notes are landing around the click. And you'll immediately notice that this is an entirely different feel and you'll be aware of different notes, different note transitions as you play through it. That's why these are so it's so very valuable to change your starting point, to cycle through your starting points. And so the next thing, of course, is to start on the third note, because again, that'll highlight all sorts of different uh, problems in your timing. So we'd start here, not on the first note, not on the second, but on the third. So. Click, click, click click, click. And again, that's a whole different feel to starting on the second note, because as I said, yeah, different notes are landing on and around the click. So how should you practice this? I think, <clears throat> let's say you've got half an hour at your disposal to work on your sweeps. For the first 10 minutes, you could do just regular, starting on the first note, and just looping through that. Nice and slow, getting the feel of it. But of course, you'll probably be familiar with that one. For the second t uh, 10 minutes, loop through starting on the second note. And of course, for the third 10 minutes, loop through starting on the third note. And that way, every chance, uh, sorry, every note will have had its chance to have been in the spotlight, you know, to be 
accented to land on the click. And every note will have had its chance to land around the click in every possible uh, position as well. So you really are covering all bases here. And if you happen to find one of these cycling uh, playthroughs more difficult than the other, like say the most difficult for you was starting on the third note, then practice that one more. And eventually these will all become the same difficulty and you'll go back to doing uh, starting on the first note and all of your notes will be beautiful and perfectly in time and this whole venture will have been a success so give that a go get back to me in like a week maybe two leave a comment and let me know how you got on with it i'd be really interested to hear thank you very much